Think of the solar system as a cookbook. On the last page is a picture of the solar system that you're going to make. But what's the recipe for making the solar system? That we still have to learn. If you look at our solar system, almost all of it is the sun. And then the leftovers from when the sun formed, that made Jupiter. And then the leftovers from when Jupiter formed made everything else. So that means if I want to know, how do I get to making these other planets? Well, I better figure out Jupiter next. But nobody's ever really gone close enough to make the type of high fidelity, high accuracy measurements that our science instruments are going to make. We're going really close to Jupiter, into its big strong magnetic field, diving underneath its dangerous radiation belts, looking at the planet in a way that's never been seen before. I've thought about what that moment will be like when we see the first data coming down. Will there be nothing there? Will it be exactly the way the models predicted? And I have no idea how I'm going to react. If I can understand and look into depth at the jet streams and the storms on Jupiter, that might teach me a little bit more about how weather patterns form on the Earth. You know, a hurricane on the Earth that might get its driving energy from the difference in temperature between the ocean and the land. Well, on Jupiter, a storm could get its energy from the interior to the exterior. That comparison could teach us something about how the weather works here on the Earth. The single most important number that we'll get back from Juno will be the global water content of Jupiter, because that tells us about how the planet formed. That one number, how much water does it have, is a really key number that we need to figure out how did the solar system get here. I think the thing that's most interesting to me is how much we can learn about the inside of the planet when everything we measure is outside. We will measure Jupiter's magnetic field, and that will tell us a lot about the origin of Jupiter. But it also helps us answer some fundamental questions about how do planets make magnetic fields? I'm really interested in understanding what the interior is gonna tell us about how the solar system formed and, and how it works and what it's made of. Those things lead to the discoveries that make up all the things human beings have learned how to do. It's just, you can't predict which thing is going to turn out to be the most important discovery ever and which thing is gonna be a curiosity that's written in the textbooks and it doesn't get used for anything else. Juno is gonna be our first really good shot at learning how did the solar system form? How do planets form? Where do we come from? Welcome to Jupiter.